Hey guys, it's Justine. I'm very excited because today you may recognize this. This is the original iPhone, the first generation. This is the eight gigabyte model. I did an unboxing of this fairly recently and it was sealed unopened. I got it from eBay. A lot of you were speculating on the price, but I'll just leave that up to your imagination. Whatever it was that I paid for, it was 100% worth it. This phone specifically has a lot of sentimental value because this phone represents a time in my life where I basically was trying to figure out what I was going to do with the rest of my life, at least in the near term future. Now going on 11 years of making YouTube videos, 12 actually. <gasps> I just recently had my 12 year YouTube anniversary. That's crazy. But a long story short, a lot of things happened because of this phone. This phone inspired me so much to keep creating content. And it's also because of this phone, a video I created that I'm sure many of you have seen. And if you haven't seen it, it's okay. It was the iPhone bill video. I've talked about it before, but this was one of those videos where people actually saw it and not just saw it in my immediate fan base or my friends and family. It was something that was all around the world. And for me, being made fun of for making videos on the internet, which is totally fine because clearly there was something to all of those making weird videos on the internet. But it gave me this realization that what I was doing was actually something and it was important and it was the future. So I kept doing it and here I am many, many years later. So all in all, the reason that you're here is because you wanna see this phone. I just so happened to be going to the Apple store to get my iPhone 10 fixed. I was having a bunch of camera issues so they replaced the camera and while I was there, I just was like, hey, so. I've got this original iPhone. I was making like a quick little Instagram video thinking that it wasn't actually gonna work. Okay, we are on a mission and that mission is to get this iPhone to work. No promises, but my hopes are very high. But now here I am telling you the story of what exactly happened at the Apple store to get this phone to work. So what was happening is iTunes wasn't recognizing this phone. So what my friend did at the Apple store, thank you Dakota, you're the absolute best. While my phone was getting fixed, he's like, this is easy. Well, all we, all we gotta do is force it into recovery mode download whatever the last version of iOS that this would support. Look at this. Look just, at this. Oh, you sweet status bar. Yeah, it's just What's gonna happen? My phone has been restored to, okay, ah, I'm freaking out. Okay, something's happening, and I'm so sorry for filming this video in vertical. Oh no, what's that mean? Oh no! Let's see if it recognizes it in a second. You guys don't understand. Oh my goodness. Look at this home screen, man. I'm trying really hard not to cry. Don't cry. No! I think it's all zoomed in. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. This is my first picture. That's cool. Okay, I'm having a moment. My first picture is going to took. Wow, what, look at this. It's insane. This is something that I did not think was gonna happen today. And here it is, it's officially set up. I'm so excited, stay tuned because we're gonna make some really fun videos with this. So the version of iOS that this ended up installing was version 3.13. I was really hoping to get the first 1.0 version of iOS, but honestly, just being able to get this thing to work is super exciting. It's also kind of interesting because I'm not able to really log into any of my email accounts because I use two-step authentication. So every time that I enter my password, it says it's the wrong password. I'm like, no, the password is right, but it doesn't actually know how to authenticate. But when you sign in now, it'll open up a browser, it'll say enter your password, and then it'll say the two-step authentication and then you enter the phone number, but it didn't quite work so well on here. Also, what's interesting is, let's see if we can surf to a website. Say hello to the future. Oh my goodness, it's so slow. It could be my Wi-Fi or it could be this phone. Come on, let's go. You can do it or is that the end of the page? That's definitely not the end of the page. Giant step for iPhone. That's quite the scroll. If you guys recall, you couldn't even copy and paste in the first version of iOS. But here's the notepad, listen to that. You actually can select all, 
copy and paste. There also wasn't an app store, so downloading apps was just not a thing. Like that was just not something that happened. Whatever came pre-installed was what you had. I remember the workaround was people were creating HTML5 apps. So essentially you would go to a website and then that would kind of be your app. So one of the things that I did try in the Apple store is I wanted to watch a YouTube video. I was like, let's watch a YouTube video on the first iPhone in the Apple store the second that I got this thing activated. Spoiler alert, it, it didn't work. Oh my gosh, and YouTube isn't available, so it's not gonna work. Okay, I'm so upset. This is what the YouTube app looked like. It came pre-installed on everything, but that's what happened. This is the first picture that is on my iPhone. It's probably one of the worst pictures ever, but I think it really does encompass a lot of my feelings. I was quite surprised, especially because I had zero expectations and I didn't think that this was gonna work. Here's the second photo that I took, just a picture of the Apple Store. So here are the pictures in, well, high resolution. Surprisingly, the photo quality is actually not that bad. I mean, it's not that great. I was also thinking, wow, wouldn't it be cool to do a video test? But there was no video on the first iPhone. <laughs> I think there were some sort of apps, if I do remember correctly, that it sort of captured video. It was basically just kind of taking a screen recording of your camera screen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I vaguely remember that. So here's the App Store. I haven't tried to load this yet, so let's see what happens. Doesn't look like it's loading. Oh, <gasps> it loaded! Okay, wait. Well, I'm not gonna be able to use an AR app on here. So let's see if there's something that I can download. Let's see if I can download the Starbucks app. No! How will I get my coffee? So what's crazy is I can't really do much on here because there isn't any actual service. So the 2G network is not supported any longer on AT&T. So I really can only do things on Wi-Fi. And since there's no iMessage, I can't actually send any messages at all. You can only send text messages through a carrier. I can't make a phone call. There's no Wi-Fi calling. Nope, call failed. So here's the messages, can't do anything. Okay, let's go through the apps. Here's the calendar, IJHQ. This is not focused, I'm gonna be very upset if it's not. Let's go into photos. So here's what the photo app looks like. I now have three photos, me super excited, Apple Store, me filming this video. So here's what the share function looks like. You can email the photo, assign to contact, use as wallpaper. So we did YouTube already, which obviously nothing happened. Let's try stocks. Hmm, looking mediocre. Maps, it's kind of crazy because Google Maps came pre-installed on here. So let's zoom in, let's see where we can go. Arkansas, hello, anybody from Arkansas? Shout out. Weather, voice memos, let's try this out. Hello, hi, play. Next we have notes, just type some nonsense. Clock. No alarms and no surprise. Calculator. Ooh, riveting. Looks the same actually. Here's our settings. Apple Store, what's this? Oh, so I wonder if I could sign in. It's not gonna make a difference because I can't do anything. iTunes. Let's take a look at this. Oh. Well, it quit. We already saw the App Store, so let's take a look what the contacts looks like. I don't have any contacts, boo-hoo. Mail, I tried to set up mail, but it wouldn't let me. Safari, we saw what that looked like. And iPod, I don't have any music, so sad. This is also another crazy thing. I find it very strange. I know when people say things like, oh, the universe, the universe, it works in mysterious ways. I say it because it really, really does. I was in San Francisco and I went to MoMA and they had this display where it was made in California. So obviously they had a whole display of Apple products. Of course I went in, I was making some videos and taking pictures. You guys may have seen my Instagram story. If not, I will add a highlight so you guys can check it out. This was one of those moments which happens all too often. It makes you think, how did I happen to be at this moment at this time for this specific thing to happen? I was making an Instagram video of these three sketches and I was like, this is awesome. These sketches are sketching out what a mouse will be and how it will work. So it basically was the prequel to the mouse that we know today. These illustrations were done in 1983 and it just so happened that the guy who did those illustrations also just happened to stop by to see the display. 
and I didn't believe him at first. What are the odds of this? And then I'm just like freaking out because I don't think he had any idea of what a huge Apple fan I was. So he's like, no, no, I, I really did do this. And his friend that was with him said, yeah, the, he did this. He told me some really cool stories about creating those sketches and stuff like that. But it was definitely an extremely memorable moment. I just wanted to leave you guys with a little bit of that video because it was a really special moment for me, mostly just because of how the universe works, how random occurrences like that happen. And it really is crazy that you never know who you're gonna meet. I don't even know how to explain this, but this is just one of the crazy things that happens in life. So I'm just sitting here looking at these incredible sketches here, admiring one of these prototypes of the Apple Mouse, and of course, one of my most favorite computers ever. And the guy who did these sketches just walks the year up. year of your birth. What, what, what year was this? Did what, you, the, the, did? The 1983. So 1983, so a year before I was born. So, I mean, well, how does it feel to be here and just kind of seeing your sketches? Well, well, that's a fair thing to ask. I mean, it's sort of like old friends, and the thing is, none of you will ever be this old. You kind of go, first thing is, have I done anything of consequence since? That means, in sketching, when you're not happy with your sketch, you're really happy with the fact and honored that they've been displayed, and you're wondering, what should I do next? I mean, this is incredible though, really. This is so awesome, and I just can't believe it. I'm, I'm kind of in shock. I didn't even believe him. He had to get his driver's license out and put it, no, don't show them, don't show them. Oh. No, <laughs> and put it next to his name, right here so that I would believe it, and I did. And this is so cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with me. This is so cool. Anything else you wanna share about these? Just thank you, Justine, for passing it along. This is Beautiful. amazing. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys who may have been here all this time, who may be new. It's really cool just to sort of see the evolution of technology. I've been able to document so much of it over the course of my lifetime, and it's amazing just to be able to still do this and share it with you guys. I'll have some more fun videos coming up soon, so if you guys aren't already subscribed, please do so, because I just found an old laptop from 2007. This was the computer that I started my YouTube career on. So I look forward to showing you guys that, because wow. I turned that on and I'm like, I need to do a reaction video to some of the things that I found. <laughs> Crazy, ah, I'm so excited. Again, thank you, I'll see you later. Subscribe, hit the bell, like this video, or don't. Do whatever you wanna do, I'm out. I gotta go edit this now because I'm so excited. <laughs>